26 right if you want to quote it from the quran it says in chapter number 17 chapter 17 ayat 106 it states the process of the revelation of the holy quran it says that it is a quran which we have divided into parts from time to time in order that tho o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam might decide it to the people at intervals we have revealed it by stages in 23 years first of all as the quran itself explains that it is a quran which we have divided into parts from time to time in order that tho o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam might decide it to be to the people might decide it to the people at intervals at people at intervals we have revealed it by stages right in a period of 23 years so in arabic basically the word wahi means a spontaneous message made known through divine inspiration the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam received revelations through different moods through angel jibril alaihi salam the surahs chapters revealed in makka are generally brief but powerful they deal with tauhid oneness of allah prophethood they hear after accept whereas the surahs in madina are long and detailed with a bit softness in tone they deal with the laws covering all the aspects of human life including jihad so early makka period oneness of allah prophethood hear after mainly the ayats the quranic verses deal with it when we talk about the madina badni detailed all aspects of human life is covered in them right the holy quran was not revealed to the prophet at once but sporadically with the different types of revelations like in 610 when he was in ghar e hira right 610 right ghar e hira okay okay hira the first revelation and the first revelation says and it says that recite in the name of thy lord who created created man with a cloth of congealed blood recite and your lord is a most bountiful who has taught the use of pen and taught man that which he knew not right so chapter number 96 from 1 to 5 verses right these were revealed in ghare hira now one of the forms is that this is a form of receiving revelation directly into the heart of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam another form is through angel jibril in his true angelic form according to hazrat abdullah ibn masud the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when i saw angel jibril he had 316 wings covering the entire east and the west according to sahih bukhari now then again if we go through it uh we will come to know that different periods are mentioned for example ghazwa badr for ghazwa badr they are mentioned for ghazwa ahad so these are things which are mentioned right then this was the most difficult time in of the forms of revelation for the holy prophet peace be upon him if he was mounted on camel and received such kind of revelation his companions and the animal he was riding could feel the bodily change and the weight of his body sometimes the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would receive the revelation through dreams which would come through the next morning for example the events of the battle of ahad were seen by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the day before it took place the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam only once directly received the revelation from allah in the accession the messenger of allah received the message about the obligatory five prayers directly with the communication started from 610 and in 632 the mount of arafat where holy prophet had the last sermon so you will be describing basically the period of revelation before and after revelation after migration so this is the period you will be covering last sermon this day i have perfected your religion for you completed my favors upon you and i have chosen for you islam as your religion religion so chapter number 5 ayat number 3 and you will be concluding at this point